press the gas and we'll go forward. Oh man, it's super great. What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today. Me and Ethan are playing with the Defender. I take that back. It's just Ethan. I don't know what to do. But the first thing about today's video is that we are installing a light bar. Well, I take that back too. Ethan's installing the light bar. Ethan actually used to work at a Can-Am dealership, so he kind of, he already knows how to do all this. As for me, all I know is how to press a switch. But the stock lights on the Defender, they're pretty good, but very oddly enough, they're actually angled like to the sky. I don't really understand that. But we're putting on a light bar that'll give us plenty extra light at night because we do it quite a bit the things at night around here so far how's it going ethan it's going going good about normal about 35 feet that's about how much we paid for the light bar actually that's exactly how much we paid for the light bar about 35 bucks <laughs> it's a cheap one but honestly we'll see how it works it also came with a switch and it came with two light pods which you're thinking about putting back here on the back as backup as for right now if you're trying back up in the dark you kind of just got to hope there's nothing behind you what are you talking about steven we're trying to film a video <laughs> What are we doing right here? See if the lock bar comes on, just connect it to those. Okay. I don't think it's coming on. But it's getting power. It is getting power? Yeah, listen to this. Hmm. We'll get back with you guys whenever we figure out what the heck happened. Yo, yo, listen. turkeys right all right so i don't have that much experience with turkeys but this year we've been trying awfully hard we're gonna start planting poo plots all kinds of stuff trying to get turkeys in the area and that's a turkey according to ethan which i'm sure it is that's what i thought it was but they're really close which is a really good sign just in case you guys like turkey hunting maybe you should subscribe to this channel because there's some coming soon we'll get back with you guys once we figure out what happened with the light bar because as of right now we still don't really know what's going on moment of truth here we go we ready It doesn't look like much right now, but that's because it's daytime. This video is going into the nighttime. We're going to do a little bit of riding. And I haven't mentioned this yet, but yes, we are getting my 147-year-old grandma to drive this at the end of the video. But as for now, we're putting in lights because, I don't know, it just needed lights. Big thanks to Ethan for this. Ethan is the mechanic. Go down. Everyone say thanks, Ethan. Now we can see it night. I want you to say that exact thing. This right here. Say that. But Ethan has a very unique set of skills, such as putting in light bars and basically anything else. So with the help of Ethan, Ethan. Not only is he the new cameraman, but he's also going to provide a lot of things to this channel that otherwise wouldn't happen. Like a light bar. Nitrous. We got a lawnmower over here. You'll see something with it soon. But yeah, let's go do some riding. Today. As for the lights, we got it kind of jerry-rigged right now. Here's just the button coming out. We don't have the actual switch. We're going to have the switch right here. We have two switches in the mail. They'll be here tomorrow, but we're not waiting. Anyways, they're going to say LED light bar, and then one over here is actually going to say rear lights. But as for now, we click that button, and we turn them both on. We can't really tell right now because it's still daytime, but whenever it gets nighttime, we're going to be able to tell a ton. Also, since the last riding video, we got a mirror. So every now and again, if my head snaps back whenever I do a backflip or something you'll be able to see me for like a split second but as for now hold on. oh there goes the camera real nice real nice you have to hold on to that <laughs> but yeah as for now what we were doing i was kind of just tilling up the food plot because we've not planted seeds yet but yeah we're gonna head on down we're gonna ride around some we're actually gonna check a trail camera which has good potential to have bears on it so stay tuned for that but as of now we got to get to that location and that location is gonna be pretty epic and then we get a little bit of night riding. And then we get to put a, a grandma on this thing and see how many flips she can do on one turn. It's gonna be bad. Yeah. We're, 
that's a risk we're willing to take. On to bear country. Alrighty guys, so the bear camera, literally on the top of that mountain. So we're gonna have to do a decent little trek up there. But listen, I have a very, very good feeling that we're gonna have a bear on camera. Now obviously we're not gonna be able to check them right now because I wanna give you guys high quality photos. Since it is a KG trail camera, I can technically check it right here in the field, but I'm gonna wait until we get home to actually check the high quality photos. Cause I'm planning on there being at least a couple bears. So we wanna be able to see that crystal clear. So stay tuned to after the ride and we're gonna go back home and check those. But as for now, we gotta get there first. We'll turn on the factory lights right now so you can kind of see what the factory lights are. They're decent, they're decent, they're good. No doubt about that, they're good. But there is a reason we added a light bar and it's to literally light it up like it's daytime. Oh, there's an owl. There goes an owl, dude. That is crazy. That's cool, dude. You don't see owls very often. You see hawks, you see eagles, but you rarely see an owl unless you're right in the same territory as they are. Now we're getting into some deep ruts, looks like. Real deep ruts. Mm. Can high gear take it on or I need to switch to low? Uh, high gear's got it for now. It's getting it though. But yeah, you're, you're, you can kind of see what the stock lights are doing. Here is what the light bar does. It already lights it up and it's not even nighttime. So we're gonna go ahead and turn these off until it gets really dark. Then we'll bring out the light bar until a difference right there. But the camera's right up here, so we're getting pretty close. We're here. Okay, okay. Uh, the way we're driving here today, we're gonna test out your mounting skills. We'll see how wobbly they are at the end of the day. Oh, it's already tilted. Either we're driving rough or you didn't tighten them down too tight. I couldn't tighten them down that tight. But here is one of the KG trail cameras. I had it looking at that stump. I'll check it real quick and just, uh, I'll see how many pictures, if any, we got. We may not have any. There may just, we got eight. All right, I'll just check this one right here. There's me, there's me. There's me. There's me driving away. There's a deer. All right, check out the deer. Check out the deer one time. Since there's not many pictures on this, and we'll just check it right now, but we got two other ones that we get to go check. There's the same deer. There's the same deer. And then that's us today. That's very, like, very strange. There's bears all, supposed to be all over this. See the owl? Like, this is supposed to be pure bear country, man. We're right up in the top of the straight up Kentucky mountains, dude. Like there's no, shouldn't be any better place than bears. And I've had people tell me there's bears. Here. And I mean, I put some syrup on that stump to try to get them to come in, but nothing came in. I don't know, that's how it goes sometimes. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get the other two. What we're gonna do to save your guys' time, we're gonna wait until it gets dark. Then we're gonna pull up the GoPro again and show you all the lights. So in the meantime, off camera, me and Ethan will go fetch these two, the other two. Alright, y'all can't see me at all, but that's why we included this. Y'all haven't seen it yet, now you can kind of see me. We got this little thing, it's a little magnetic strip, but it sticks right up to the top, and if I need to see something in the cab, dig in the toolbox or something, I got that light. Now, we're gonna get on to the real thing, we're gonna turn this off so you can't see me anymore. So this right here, it's a little bit better in person, but this right here is factory low beam lights. Here is factory high beam lights. Um, the camera still doesn't do it justice. We can see a whole lot better. But here is the light bar. That's a massive difference. Just imagine how much difference it made on the camera, then imagine how much difference it actually made in real life. And then, oh, cause the backups, we don't have the switch that determines which one turns on. So right now they both turn on, but guys, the camera doesn't do its justice, but we can see pretty much everything. We actually, we can see everything. We can see the soles of the trees. All right guys, so this is what we can see. Obviously we can see it a lot better in person, but even just on the GoPro, you can see pretty good with this light bar. And that's pretty amazing because GoPros can't see at all when it gets dark. But anyways, we're gonna ride this road a little bit farther, hit some steep turns like that. And uh, we gotta, we gotta, <laughs> I can't think guys. I'm, I'm too, I'm too into driving right now. I'm trying not to wreck, but we got a trail camera up there. We're gonna ride there to get it, take it back to the house, and see if we got some pictures of bears. Then after all that, we're gonna still get Mammy on this thing, and she's probably gonna flip it. Oh, that's a good hole right there. We'll try to avoid them. I don't wanna get stuck in a mud hole tonight. Dude, this light bar is awesome. Compared to, uh, uh oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Compared to this, then light bar, you get this? 
Yeah, those lights right there aren't even good. All right, so the camera is right down that bank. It's awfully dark, but we're gonna go down and get it. We'll catch you guys at the house. Okay guys, so we're reviewing the footage from the first one. That's me putting some syrup on a stump. Here's the second picture. We'll uh, go through all these um, so far. Oh, wow, there's some turkeys. That's pretty good. Definitely not a black bear, but that's a big tom, actually. Oh, there's another tom. The, the bunch of toms just hang out with each other? Yeah. All right, well, here's probably three. Here's a bunch of nothing. Here's a bunch of... There's something. I can't tell what that is, but it's creepy. Probably a turkey. That ain't no turkey, but okay. Anyways, we'll keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. A lot of things of nothing, but what is this? It's my strap blowing in the wind because I forgot to tie it down. Anyway, we'll skip through these pretty quickly. Here's a miniature bear, but not exactly what we's looking at. Oh, there's two miniature bears. Two raccoons chewing on the stump. I mean, that's 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 what a real bear was supposed to do, but then I'm moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on with the strap. There's a, oh my gosh. Oh, never mind, that's me. All right, yeah, that's me. All right, on to the next one. This is the one that I had a lot of confidence in. I mean, I had a lot of confidence in all of them, but I don't know why they just didn't turn out. Anyways, there's some deer with the KG trail camera coming in clutch. Look what some footage. We're talking HD right here. Just keep going. There's me. We actually checked it once a little while ago. What well, is that, Coyote? It's Wiley Coyote himself. He noticed something about the camera, which it lights up red, which is weird because coyotes aren't supposed to see red, but maybe he heard it clicking or something. But yeah, it looks like he chilled right there, had no idea what was going on. Then he just decided to dip. I don't blame him, probably a good move. Anyways, this coyote was pretty interested. He's there he is in the daytime. If you've never seen a coyote in the daytime, you've probably never seen my channel, but there's another coyote right there. That's what we gotta look for whenever we're coyote hunting literally invisible we gotta look hard dude that things are camouflaged anyways we're actually gonna go coyote hunt to this spot but the next thing you guys are gonna see is mammy trying to drive the defender let's see how this goes ladies and gentlemen it is the day you've all been waiting for we have the one and only mammy mammy do you know what we're doing today no i don't well this may be the biggest moment of your life and possibly the last but we're gonna let mammy drive the defender this thing you're driving it if you guys remember, the last time she drove something, she was driving the mule, and this happened. What do you think? What do you think about that day, Mammy? You about broke my spine. How's that make you feel? Bad. Huh? Bad. Make me. It makes me feel bad. Why? Cause I'm <laughs> Anyways, I'll take you a little crash course, make sure you know how to drive and everything. And then, uh, I don't know, you're just gonna have to drive it. All right, Mammy, so uh, I'm gonna give you a little crash course on how to drive this thing, all right? All right. First step, turn the key. That makes it turn on. Next, hit the brake. The brake is on the left. Also, Mammy never had a driver's license, so that could play a factor in this. Brake on the right side. Then, put it in gear. We'll put it in high gear. We like to play with risk, huh? Then you let off the brake and press in the gas. You turn the wheel to the left and you go left, turn the wheel to the right and you go right. Is that clear? Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, well, let's go. I'm going to leave it in park, all right? Now. Get in here, Angie. Uh, yeah. I will say this. If you start doing something wrong, I do have the authority to hit you with a quick right, okay? Okay. Sounds good. I'll give her the Mayweather one too, son. You ain't wrecking my defender. Now, what do I do? Hold up, Mammy. Oh snap. All right, Um, right, first thing, hit the brake. All right, now put it into gear. I can't now work my All right, there you go. Now press the gas and we'll go forward. Whoa, Mammy, hit the brake. <laughs> wrong gear, wrong gear. All right, now we're in high gear. But now, <laughs> this is so dangerous. Press the gas slowly and turn it that way because you're going to hit him. <laughs> Let's get you out here in the middle. All right. <laughs> go, go, go. Mamie's driving. Mamie's driving. Where are you going, Mamie? Turn the wheel this way. Okay. Okay. Mamie coming in clutch one time. Okay. Full speed ahead. Launch and slam the gas. All the way down. Pedal to the metal. Oh. Why? We ain't gonna do wheelies or nothing. How's it feel, Mamie? How's it feel to be a rock star? How's it feel to be a rock star? Okay, let's make an illegal U turn. On a scale of one to ten, how well do you think you're doing driving? I about 
five. About five out of ten? Yeah. Dang. Oh, Mamie going off road now. Enjoy this little montage of Mamie driving the Defender 80 horsepower. So, uh, how was your first day driving? Pretty good. Did you have the need for speed a little bit? Uh -huh. I could tell. Uh -huh. Yep. If they want to buy some merch, where do they buy the merch at? At Kendall Gray's shop. Pretty much. KendallGray1.com slash shop. KendallGray1 by... KendallGray1.com slash shop. Come by. Exactly right. KendallGray1 by one shop. Yep. Close enough. Close enough. Yeah. You type it in Google, it'll find what it. What are we going to eat for lunch? Wendy's? Mm -hmm. KFC. Yeah. We can't have both now. We can eat the either place you want to. Well, you pick. You're the special guest. Where are we eating at? At John, I love John Silver. <laughs> Alright, we're ending it right there. <laughs> Goodbye. Talking. But if you want to watch the video where she wrecked the mule, you can watch right here. Or if you want to click right over here, you can see Mammy's first time ever being on the Defender. And uh, you know what? From what she did today, I think she may have learned some things. We'll catch y'all later. <laughs>